Good morning and welcome to another Florida vlog. It is Wednesday. We have been here since last Friday and I am just walking with Hector to the pool where we're going to drop our stuff. Tom and Charlie and Hector are going to have some time at the pool and I'm going to go to Disney Springs on my own for a wander around. Um, kids aren't big fans of shopping. I love shopping and I just want to have a little mooch around. I've got to pick up some gift vouchers from Shop Disney uh, from the oh, World of Disney. Disney, World of Disney and that's what I'm going to do this morning. So I'm going to take you with me to Springs and we'll have a look and see what's going on. I really think I might pick up a Starbucks and <clears throat> I really fancy one of the new orange Dole Whips. So I think I might grab one of those from Swirls on the Water, which opens at 11. But at the moment, we're just gonna drop these little dudes off at the pool. Thank you. Saratoga Springs is one of my favorite resorts. We are just over there and it's about a two minute walk to the paddock pool which isn't the main pool it's one of the smaller pools on resort but it is our favorite um, pool opens from 10 we're a little bit before so we've gone to get the space at the pool I don't know where the boy is I might oh they're over there okay fab and it's brilliant, I just love this pool. Weather is set to be amazing today, so once I've come back from Springs, I'm gonna dip in the pool. The lifeguards are amazing. They are on duty the whole time the pool is open. This guy here is just getting all the stuff. This is Keith, the lifeguard, he's getting all the stuff. Good morning, Keith. He's getting all the stuff ready. And this is the pool here. Um, as I say, it's a, it's a zero entry pool and it is our favourite on property. It's just so calm and relaxing and we absolutely love it. It is hot, like I'm sweaty but it's it's muggy but I genuinely think the weather having been so brutally hot back in England before we left helped hugely because we got here and where you'd normally step off the plane you'd be hit with that kind of wall of humidity we didn't get that this time um, so that was good I'm not wearing my sunglasses today because as you can see I'm getting what looks like a heart shaped mark from my sunglasses so I'm gonna try and do as much of the day without my sunglasses but I'm just coming into view of springs now and it is so pretty this walk it's taken me what am I at now eight minutes and it's such a pleasant walk Disney Springs just coming into view that's another pool there these are all the pretty buildings and springs is just peeping up over the water there's the boathouse which is one of our favorite springs restaurants to go to, their bread rolls are to die for. There's the balloon. Everything opens around 10, so it's now just a couple minutes before 10. So I'm gonna grab a Starbucks, I think, and then have a little mooch and see what takes my fancy. This is where you pick the boat up at Sasagula Steamboat Company and that takes you on one side to Port Orleans, the French Quarter and Riverside and on this side it takes us back to Saratoga Springs and Old Key West. But it's a lovely little walkway straight over to Springs. So that has taken me, it's taken me 16 minutes in total but I did stop to faff around, take some photos. So if I was just doing what I needed to do, probably 12. It's a really easy walk, nice and flat. Um, and it's very quiet. Springs get super busy in the evening, obviously, because everyone's at the park. So it's nice to come in here when it's a bit quieter. And I'm just gonna mute. I'm gonna head to Gideon's first and see if I can get in the virtual queue. It's always a bit hit and miss how long it's gonna take. But the kids are after 
a chocolate chip cookie. So we're gonna see if we can get one of them to take away. And I'll show you around in there because it is a really, really super cool little shop. Darkside Margaritas is really cool for margaritas. So you can see here what they've got here. These are today's picks. This looks really good, the strawberry margarita. My sister-in-law loves margarita, Sarah, so we might have to come here and get her work. If you're prepared to let your children have chocolate at an ex ridiculous time in the morning, Ghirardelli's is the place to go. There's no queue, and you can get these amazing, amazing Sundays. Hexy had one last year, and it was fab. This is how quiet Springs is in the morning. It's absolutely gorgeous. Basin, I'm going to show you in there later as well. But it's so quiet. I think Disney Springs in the morning might be my new favourite place. So I'm just going to contemplate. I'm going to go to Gideon's, get in the virtual queue, see how long that's going to take, and then I'm definitely going to get oh, it's a waft of aircon coming from World of Disney, and I'm not against it. So I'm going to walk over to Gideon, see if I can get in the uh, queue and then I'm probably going to get a Starbucks. Joffrey's also looking good, so I don't know what I'm going to have. I'll see if you guys can decide for me on Instagram. Just around by Terralina and by Cooks of Dublin you'll find the really cute orange bird citrus wall. So currently this month it's Flavors of Florida and you'll find all around the park these little cool little pop-ups and things that homage to the orange bed. Seriously, how cute. Yeah. So we're gonna head round to Gideon's. I'm gonna go this way. It's basically the other side of Raglan Road. So I'm gonna stroll around there and see how the line is. So it's 10 past 10. Now, the queues for Gideon's in the height of the day can be up to four hours. Now, I love me a cookie, but I'm not waiting four hours for a cookie. So go and see how long the queue is. It's been open 10 minutes and this is the queue already. Now, I'm gonna roll to the front, see if I can join a virtual queue, but I'll see how long it is. I don't really wanna be here for like eight hours, so if the queue is hideous, then we will pass and I probably will get the boys a sprinkles cupcake from the 80s. Better. So the flavors of these, the July flavors as you can see, and these are orange, peak, and chocolate chip, banana bread, chip returns for an extended stay, and they're half pound cookies. So if you do want to wait, I would get here before 10 and join the queue before 10, but I'm not going to wait for an hour for a cookie. I'm going to go and find something. This is Sprinkles, and Sprinkles has the cutest cupcake ATM. So you can go on, press the screen, and you can select all your cupcakes, circus animal, banana, sprinkle. So I think I'm gonna go with I was going to order on the ATM for what it must, but I've come in store because I want to try and get a bag because I'm going to get a couple of cupcakes to take away and they do bags here and I don't think I get a bag with the ATM. I get a lot of people asking about my shoes and what I wear to Disney uh, when I walk around the park because I'm doing a bit of shopping. Well, here they are. Now I know there are a lot of croc haters out there and you can hate, but I love them and they are so comfy. So you hate is gonna hate, 
but I'm just gonna keep wearing my crops because I love them. We are heading in to the Mecca, world of Disney. I've got to pick up my gift cards, but I thought I'd show you around here and see what merch is available at the Mecca. Big tip, if you have the My Disney Experience app, which you will do when you are linking your tickets, you can use mobile checkout. Basically, you just go around the store, scanning what you want, uh, it will put in a basket for you, and then you can pay for it without having to join the queues, because the queues can get really big. So if you're after ears, look no further. They have got so many sets of ears here. And hats, I love these ones. I'm very taken with those. But equally, I love these ones. These are from the Vault Collection. I think these are just so pretty. I have aerial ears, but these are something else. Look how cute. Now, there are some really, really fun ones here. See, these are the ones I always like. I love the Slinky Dog ones. I saw them on my first trip in 2019, and I've always really liked them. The hats are super cute. I'm really, I have a visor, um, but I do want another one. But I've just seen a stitch hat, because I have a Stitch Mad fan in our house. But how much is this? This one is, how much is that hat? $24.99. That hat is $24.99. We get a discount through DVC, so that'll take it down a little bit. But they are really cute. Hang on. Hello, croc accessories. Oh, I love these. How much are these? These are $19. I am very tempted with them. I love a little cycling short. How cute are they? I really like them. And I love that t-shirt as well. There's some really lovely bits. I've had to switch my phone because my camera battery uh, has died and is the lowest. So I'm just grabbing a Starbucks. I went into World of Disney, uh, had a little look around there. Um, Huge amount. I went the other day, so there was nothing new from the other day, but I'll keep popping back over the summer just to let you know if there's any new merch that drops. Um, and I picked up my gift vouchers that I got with my ticket. So, if you are connected in any way to the British Army or the Navy or <clears throat> the RAF and you have access to a blue light card discount, which is also the NHS, or a defence discount card, you can go via the defence discount card website and obtain a 5% discount for Disney. So when I bought my Disney tickets, I applied a 5% discount and I also got a $50 gift card with each purchase. Now, we needed three adults and one child for us, so I did it in two separate transactions and I got two $50 gift cards. I think that offer runs until the end of May, um, but you need the code from the Defence Discount website and it changes weekly, so uh, you need to go on there. So if you are a member of the NHS through your blue light or the Army, Navy or RAF, you will get a discount through the events discount website. So every little helps. But once you get that, you have to come to Disney Springs, come to World Disney to pick up your two or your one gift card, which has your $50 already loaded up. In this suit, so neat. So this is a strawberry Asahi, I don't know ever how to pronounce it. Asahi, Asahi, Asahi. Uh, a strawberry Asahi and a venti, and I think it was like $6 something. And it's a strawberry lemonade refresher and it's really, really nice. You can get it in the UK, but it's not as nice as they do it here in the States. So I've had this, I'm gonna have a little mooch. Swells on the water, opens at 11. And I do really wanna try that orange bird Dole Whip. So I think I'm probably gonna sit down for five minutes, have my strawberry drink, find some shade, and then I'm gonna have a look in basin, and then I'm gonna try and get a Dole Whip to walk back to Saratoga with. So I'm just going to try and find a little bit of shade. Basin is one of the coolest shops at Disney. They've got one here in Springs and they've also got one at the Grand Floridian. The smell is insane. Look how cute these soaps are.
they have loads of bath bombs and really cute soaps that you can get. And literally the smell in here is incredible. Like it smells amazing. Um, the bath bombs are like three for 15, but they're really, really big. You can also get shampoo and conditioner bars for all of your hair. Um, but they have this really fun thing here where you can wash your hands. You can see, you can wash your hands. So I'm going to see if I can prop you up, if I can wash my hands. Feels really good. Super soft. And you can just come and wash your hands. Quite fun. That was the orange scrub. But they've got loads. And you can just come and try them. And it smells amazing. So I'm definitely going to buy one of those before the end of the holiday and you can also buy these bar salts and you scoop them into a little container but it's what it's one of my favorite shops here Marketplace Snacks is the new place to get the bubble waffles. The Mickey bubble waffles. They look really, really good. And they are $8.99 plus tax. I think I would probably go for that one. That looks like it's got my name on it. But they're a really good size, so you could definitely share one between two. I'm really hoping that the swirls on the water is open because it wasn't when I came the other day at 11 and it's now 10 past 11. There's no one queuing which is never a good sign. I really cannot be bothered to go back later <clears throat> and I do really want to deal with it. So let's see. Seriously Disney, sort your SH1T out. It says 11 o'clock online and every time I come it's never open. So I'm going to show you what it is here anyway. So you can get, that's the little one I wanted to get, but they haven't opened. So and they've got the Dull Whip Flight, which looks super cool. Dull Whip Float with alcohol. And that's what I was hoping. I've decided I'm going to wait for maybe five, ten minutes more to see if it opens up. Um, but if not, I'm just going to start walking back. Behind me is the Rainforest Cafe with this massive, this massive volcano that goes off. I was just on the phone to my friend Claire and it chose at that time to just keep going off the whole time. So that's fun. The kids really like kind of those places. And there's another really good one here called T-Rex where you can go and eat inside. And eat, inside eat, eat inside and there's a huge, big um, T-Rex inside that's got all the bones. That's quite fun to do as well. So another really good recommendation of restaurants for the kids. It's still closed and the cars members just come out to say that one of the machines that makes the Dull Whip isn't working. They have two that do, that do work, but one that doesn't. So I said, well, why don't you just open with the two that work? And she was like, I don't know. So that's a seems absolutely commitment. So I'm going to give it five more minutes and then I am going to get walking back. And I think the volcano may blow anytime soon, but I'm holding out for five more minutes and I'm summoning the Dull Whip gods to see if they may open. I've sacked it off and bored of waiting now so I'm going to have a little walk back to Saratoga um, and I will try again on Friday when I'm back here at Springs to see if I can get my beloved Dolwich, but I'm too hot now, and I'm gonna head back. And I might just have a little look in Gigi's cat. The smell when you walk in 
in a store, literally whacks you right in the face. This place is incredible. So many sweets. walking back but I'm obviously gonna have to have a little peek in days of Christmas because it's July it's 38 degrees but the magic of the holiday never ends it's the greatest of gifts of family and friends and look it could be December in here how pretty I really really love this shirt and I've been very tempted to get it for Webo. How much is this one? This one is $59.99. I just really love it, but I think he probably would end up looking like he works here, which would probably mean he wouldn't want to wear it. But you can, it's a little bit like the Harrods Christmas store. You know, people think, why have you got a Christmas store in the middle of July? Because people holiday all year round here, so people want to come and get that 20, 22 personalized, bauble like these ones here so you can get them all personalized like these hang on your tree they've got loads and then if somebody has got engaged recently you can get these really cute little and they lived happily ever after marks and they are $15 and some champagne glasses and these little be mine ones I think I might have to how much are these ones these are $24.99 they are expensive but <laughs> they are really cute and then if you've graduated they have these really cute little mini graduation ones now these are wildly expensive and they are pretty much just like the ones I got from Primark last couple Christmases back but I think I paid like a tenner for loads of them these are $30 and they are exactly the same pretty much as the ones I got from Primark this is where they personalise Oh. Personalise them for you. I'm admiring your work. I'm admiring the work. <laughs> so you can get all your little personalisation put on them, those special occasions. So if you are lucky enough to have an annual pass, we do not because Disney are still not selling them at the moment. There is a magnet redemption spot just toward the entrance at the back. Uh, and it's by Wonderful World of Disney Memories. So you can queue there and get your magnet. If you're from the UK, the US, they send them in the post. But in the UK, you can come and pick up your annual pass magnet. I'm now gonna walk back. That said, there is a boat there. I might get the boat back. Depends when it's gonna leave. Can I walk? I'm not gonna run. But if I can get the boat, maybe I take the boat. It's quite fun. 
and I actually haven't taken the boat from or to Saratoga so I might do that and see how long that takes. I think it's going to be longer than the walk but I'm going to give it a go. It hasn't left so I think I'm going to get the boat down and see where. This is where you get the boat from. Key all the way down here and hopefully it'll load fairly soon but they come and go very regularly. If you're staying at Port Orleans or Saratoga or Key West, it loads pretty quickly and pretty regularly. They come back and forth the whole day. So I'm going to get on the Bayou Princess, which is going to hopefully take me all the way to Saratoga. Perfect, thank you. I'm going to pop myself. situation. I've got off at Port Orleans French Quarter to have a little look around, bonus little peek around and I'm now going to go to the quick service because they have beignets here and beignets are one of my faves. Weather is not totally instant but I totally am. They're like fluffy donut things so I'm going to stop here, get a beignet and then I'm going to get a lift Saratoga because this boat doesn't go back to Saratoga it goes back to Disney Springs and I can't be bothered so I'm gonna get a lift uh, or an Uber back to Saratoga but I'm definitely gonna have a beignet because <laughs> this is Scat Cat Club Cafe at the Wrench Quarter and these are the beignets so I'm gonna get something and give them a try and these are some of the options. So you can get like a whole plate of beignets for $10.99, three beignets for $6.99, or one beignet for $3.49. I have ordered one beignet and it's $3.75. I'm excited. I didn't get my doll whip, so I'm gonna go with one of these instead. Here is my beignet. It's a decent size, like that's probably 10, 12 centimeters square and it's covered in powdered sugar. So let's give it a try. Oh, it's, it's hot. That is really nice. It's like a, um, a jam donut without jam. But covered. I mean, I can do it. It's really good. Mm. Um, yeah, love it. I'm just waiting for my taxi to arrive. Uh, I've ordered a lift, which we, which is similar to Uber, so it's the same kind of interface, and you can order an Uber or a lift. My lift today cost me 87 cents. Uh, so that's how much it's going to cost me to get back to the resort because I had a gift code. Uh, a friend gifted me some ride credit I then forwarded on to somebody else it's like a referral scheme so I will put the link in the description box below but it gives you like $20 off your first couple of rides so I have ordered a lift to take me from the French Quarter to Saratoga 
I'm just patiently waiting for my Uber. I can't believe I got on the wrong bus. It, actually, I can. I, I'm, I'm bus, boat. I can totally imagine. I can totally understand why I got on the top of the boat because um, I'm an idiot. And that is my ride. So I'm hopping in a Hyundai Palisade. My clean little car is going to pick me up and take me on my way. I have made it back to the pool, having gotten my lift to come back here. We've got some snacks for lunch. I have picked up some old school cans of Smyrna from Walmart. Or, no, I think it was Target yesterday. So we're just having a drink by the pool. And then this evening our plan is at about 6 o'clock, quarter past 6, 6.30, we're going to head to the Polynesian. And we're going to grab some food and drinks with our friends there. Uh, Charlie's godparents and we're going to watch the fireworks, do some schmores, maybe watch a movie on the green and go to have a cocktail or two. That is tonight's plan. But for now, we're just going to chill out for a couple of hours and enjoy um, our last day here at Saratoga. The Polynesian at night just hits different. It's just a different vibe. It's a different vibe of resort. It is hands down my favorite resort we stayed here in december and in february and we have an upcoming stay next week and also in october and i'm so excited it's just the loveliest we have come to pineapple lanai at the disney's polynesian we've been craving uh dull with men since i couldn't get one this morning we thought we come to the poly have some food tonight from the quick service have a few drinks Watch the fireworks on the beach and we're going to pick ourselves up from the 50th celebration ones which are currently about five to under six dollars so um hector has asked for a strawberry one i've got a pineapple one but he's a strawberry he's not he's having a vanilla one instead so i'm just going to order that for him now how's your ice cream not good oh okay How's yours? You've got a whip. Tinks, you're gonna feature on the vlog. What's the what's the uh, what is your doll whip like? Very good. Just like the messiest know. child I've ever known to eat a doll whip. Whoever is in his element, the happy man, the happy man. A little tip for you. If you come to the Polynesian, grab yourself a mobile order and head to the beach. If you grab your space at the beach, then you can watch the fireworks later on. So I've got my mobile order from Captain Cooks. I've gone with a chicken and noodles and where has gone with a pool called Aloha Boga. And we are heading down to the beach now where the boys have been sitting. So that's a really good tip if you want to watch the fireworks. They pump the music in and you can grab yourself some food, grab yourself a drink and enjoy the fireworks later. So these rooms here on the left and right are the hotel rooms and as we head down the DVC rooms where we'll be staying are up on the right but this is the pathway to the beach where you can happily sit you do not need to stay here you can just come here use the monorail grab a dining reservation and you can come here and you can watch the fireworks from this incredible spot right here we have come to the beach area here at the Polynesian and we're just, the rain has cleared and now a little bit of lightning in the air but we are quite happy to sit here, look at the bungalows, look at the castle and have a little drink. I've gone for the noodles and the shrimp which is really lovely. Webber has gone for the pulled pork burger. Looks very nice. Haven't got anything for the children yet because they weren't hungry and typically now they are. So we're going to mobile order you some food and I'm going to chow down this. Right Tinks, what have you got? Have you got the biggest portion known to man? Right, Tallulah's gone for the pulled pork nachos. What's this It is gone for the, what are they? The wings or the Chicken wings. The chicken wings. Portion of what chicken have you gone wings? for? Slightly under club dip. <laughs> you, no, no, you, no, no, this is yours, Mum. There you are, go and sit down nicely. You've got a chicken down. burger. Why didn't you mm. no, no, it's mine. fine, just eat two. And, mm. yeah. Thank you. Thomas finally got his honey, honey mustard sauce that he was waiting for. Mm. 
Oh. Tinks, can we have a review of the nachos? They're good. They're good. What did you she get? She won't like them. She won't like them. What did you get for Nick? A pulled pork sandwich oh. with about so many chips. Ben's chips. What are, and the and the the, the 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 little wingies thing are they nice? The wingies are very nice, slightly on the club dip. Mm. I think I'd I'd need two portions of them. Oh, hang on, management's put some <laughs> chips on top. <laughs> that was the plan, but now not. I'm going to end today's vlog here at Disney's Polynesian Resort where we will be checking in for two nights next week which I'm mega excited about. I hope you had a lovely day. We've had a very lazy day. I hope you enjoyed our little walk around the springs. I hope you had a little look at the fireworks that you can watch at the Polynesian Resort and I hope you've enjoyed following us. If you like to see more of what we're doing here during our travels in Orlando for the next five and a half weeks make sure you follow, like and subscribe. You can find us on Instagram sharing daily snippets of what we're up to. But once again, thank you so much for joining and we will see you again very soon.